Hi guys. What I want to show you today is the uh, Tropicana and I-15 interchange project that we did for NDOT. And this is the application that we created right here. Uh, it's an EXE file. You double click it. It opens this on your computer um, and then gives you the ability to really explore the project. Um, this is the interchange as it's proposed and this is what the existing is. And it really goes all the way up here to Harmon and down a little bit farther. Um, you can click at any point, you can click ex proposed and existing. Um, some of the other cool stuff in here is uh, some of our cameras. So we, we use these orbits, it's really cool when you're trying to point out different things. Um, but we've also got some uh, driving pathways. This, this eyeball is just showing you where the pathway is. And then if you, you can click down into it, you can just drive that, that spot. We put some, um, doing again because I clicked away from it we put some uh, controls in here that make it easy for like like video type controls that make it go fast uh oh we're gonna hit that truck uh oh anyway um, that those are the animated cameras and still cameras are really easy we, we created those so that you can just go to any point and you can navigate with the mouse uh, translate back and forth rotate your view or zoom in and out and the zoom isn't really a zoom it's more of just a moving in the in the forward vector so it makes you feel like you're kind of flying through the model uh, and then when you get to a, a, a view that you like or that you want to save you hit this button give it a name and uh, and then it pops up in, in the menu here and then you can just recall it anytime great for uh, public meeting stakeholder uh, engagement or even project management you know if you want to go and talk to a uh, uh, a property about how if uh, the project could impact their access this is a great tool for you um, the coolest thing though about this is this traffic so I want to talk about that for a minute this traffic right here this is what we call smart traffic it is controlled by intersection controllers that set the um, the sequence and the timings of the inter inter intersections and then the, the volume is controlled by inflow points and we set vehicles per hour inputs to it. And then there's merging and diverging that's done on percentage. So it's, it's a good system just for having traffic do traffic things, right? To show how, a, how an interchange works. But what it's not is it's not any actual simulated traffic like what you could get from AIMSUM or um, VISSIM. So what we did on this project, because this project was was driven, if you would, by traffic volumes. Um, if, and, and really, when you look at it, the existing doesn't look that much different than the proposed. It's got the same flyover. It's got the same bridge. It's not that much dramatically different. You know, there's some differences with it, of course, but it really isn't like you're going from one thing to something totally different. So some questions were, well, why are we doing this? Why are we spending all this much money and why am I gonna have to deal with all this construction um, for this project when it doesn't look that much different? Well, I'm about to tell you, traffic. So what we did here is we took the FZP file and that come, and it came from Amsung in this case, but this sim could export the same thing. Um, and we brought that into Unity in three different, three different versions of it, um, an existing, and that's just the traffic counts, just regular. Here's what it is in 2019. We did a no action, and this is 2040 volumes saying projected. And, and Jacobs did all, all of this, uh, the traffic simulation, and sent us the files. Um, but look at this. Wow, you know, this, this is the off ramp coming from California. So all these poor souls have already been driving for four hours or so, probably maybe three the way they drive. And, uh, and now they're stuck here on this off ramp, you know, they're having to wait for the signal to change four times before they can get through. All they want to do is get to the casinos. Anyway, uh, so that's the problem. So this is saying, well, here's what it is today. The growth in 2040 is what, it, this is what it's going to look like then. So if you take those same 2040 volumes and you put that traffic into the proposed design, now here's what you get look at where these guys are coming from california they got six exit lanes now see that so this is really powerful for really explaining the purpose of this project and and how it's going to benefit 
uh, the whole city. I mean, this this interchange is super important to Las Vegas, and and, and so so is this project. So that's really what I wanted to show you guys today is is how we can use something like use a game engine to communicate something complicated as all three different sets of traffic volumes and along with the proposed design anyway uh call me or email me with questions and thanks for watching